participated in the Coastal Cleanup Day. And we are cleaning up across the street from our school. <coughs> families came out. You see, uh, some families saw the event on the internet. And they came and they joined us. Um, and we're cleaning up the area across the street, not necessarily at our school, but we cleaned up around the, the community, the surrounding community. And if you just, this, there's a homeless encampment behind that tree on the first um, picture up there. And we kind of, we had to report all of, all of the, but the homeless encampments that we saw, but I never really realized how many homeless encampments I would see if I was actually looking for them. And we saw uh, another one that was very near the school too. And if you look at that bottom picture, that's a cat. Doesn't look like a cat anymore because it has become the earth again. <laughs> but this is an example of the great work that Heal the Bay is doing to benefit our community that we want to keep up. And so we're glad for the partnership. Really thankful for Reg and for Steve's uh, commitment to this mission. I really feel it when they come and visit the school and it radiates back to us a wisdom and motivates us to want and empowers us to want to do more. Really thankful for that. Um, so the Waves Reading and Fitness Park, you'll see the design back there in the back. Um, what we're trying to do is just create a community-friendly, <laughs> happy space where people can come and exercise and walk and also read. We want to have a bin of books to donate and books to take for free if you would like to read. And we would like to have... Um, a design that is that encompasses a lot of trees and just makes the area look really beautiful because as we heard earlier aesthetics is important and this area could really use uh, some aesthetics and people. So I'll let um, Mr. Joaquin tell you about the project um, a little bit more. Okay um, so we hosted um, community family nights where parents came out to give us their ideas and give Steve um, their ideas about what they want in the park. And we take those into consideration, um, toward, you know, put that towards the designs. And we do have the community unification grant. You have one too? Yes. Um, which, that, that, that's awesome because that's what got us started. Um, and that's what gave us our first design. And uh, we, with the help of Reg and Steve again, we put application in for more funds so we can further develop the site and make it more environmental, environmentally friendly and then uh, we got the support from um, our council member, Jan Perry. And the next steps, um, we are trying to find, uh, think of ways to advertise the project. We want the community, to, um, the community members to know that it's taking place and hope that they will volunteer to help us uh, put it together, you know, volunteer some hours in construction, or and like, like Ms. Watson said, you know, um, donate books to help with that, that part. Uh, raising funds. We're going to start to do, um, think about ways to do fundraisers over, fundraisers over the summer. Um, and we continue to, you know, through this program and through our education, you know, in the curriculum, we continue to um, make the students aware that as the tying back to the trash, that all that trash you saw was like right across the street from us. And we're trying to change that, um, the perceptions of the students and the parents that that's not a normal thing. It's become a social norm because they've been seeing it for 10, 20, 30 years. But we're trying to tell them that it's not okay to walk past trash. It's not okay to see bigger, um, a big, you know, thing of graffiti on the wall when they come to school. That those things need to um, disappear. And, you know, for us, for the South LA to become, um, a, you know, a good community. So we continue to do that. We continue to, to, you know, tell them, you know, don't litter. All the little things add up. Even your little candy wrapper that I give them as a treat. Don't throw that thing on the floor because that adds up. So, you know, we really, really push that. Um, and we also are working to green our building um, to use less energy. We're trying to, are we, we're trying to um, install energy saving um, lights so if, if it doesn't, if the motion sensors, so if um, there's no movement in a room for you know, a certain amount of time, they shut off automatically. So energy conservation and environmental summer camps that's in progress, we're working on that. And again, tying back to getting neighborhoods and you know, schools to be cleaner. And that's, that was the side, that's all the trash that they picked up. And you see this, this is um, donuts and Chinese food, Tweety. Um, we, we spoke to him about, um, you know, about cleaning up. You know, we go up there and paint that roof because our kids see that every day. And he was uh, uncooperative. So we're trying to change the perceptions of the business owners as well. Yeah, so 
Um, because that, that affects us, because we're directly on the street, that, that is a representation of us, too. So we're trying to change the perceptions of the business owners in our area as well. So we're starting small. <coughs> if we can improve our little area, then hopefully that it will, you know, expand. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you very much, guys.